moment at the ground due to the 200 newton load. So the scalar method says that the moment is equal to the force times the distance, as long as the distance is the perpendicular distance between the point of interest, in this case this is the ground over here, and the line of action of my force, which is over here. Now it's important that you understand that this is the perpendicular distance. So if this is the ground point, and this is the line of action of my force, it doesn't matter where on that line I act, the D is still measured perpendicular to, to my 200 newton load. So if my 200 newton load is up at the top, great. If you slide it using the principle of transmissibility until your 200 newton load is down here, fine. Whatever it is, your moment is still 200 newtons at 6 meters. The 5 did not come into this at all. I'm going to have 1,200 newton meters total. You can sort of think about why the 5 doesn't matter if you think about a really, 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 really tiny 6 meters, but a very big 5 meters, versus a really, 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 really long bit. Whatever it is, this is the moment arm that I care about. How big is that? As the 5 meters grows longer with respect to that, or the 5 meters is shorter with respect to that, how long it is right here is what matters. And I'm still going to have 200 times 6 is my moment.